Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas Copley. Mm, no. My name is Paige Rufo. I am Thomas Copley's girlfriend, and today I have a special video. So this video is specially for the ladies. If you're a guy, you can totally watch it if you want. There's some helpful tips in there, but this is especially geared toward the ladies. So if you're a guy or a girl, either one, please go like and subscribe, because I bet $20 that I would get more likes than Thomas himself with any of his other videos, and $20 is worth like two Chick-fil-A meals, so please help me out. <laughs> Alrighty ladies, so basically we're going to go over three really, really important things. At the very end, I'm going to talk to you guys about the most important tip that helped me as a backpacker go through my experience. So please stay tuned and watch it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is clothing and hygiene. So first off, let's talk about shirts. So, you know, there's long sleeve, there's t-shirts, and there's tank tops. So which one's the best? So through my backpacking experience, I've worn all of them. So the worst one I'd say is tank tops. Don't wear these. You know, your backpack's right here. They rub on your shoulders, underneath your armpits. It's just really uncomfortable and it just like keeps rubbing all the way. And as you make your experience worse, you're not gonna like it at all. Second thing on the list is the long sleeve. And this depends on the temperature that you're backpacking in and also the layering system. So the layering system is basically like your t-shirt, your long sleeve, your jacket, you know, sort of thing. And so it's easier to just start off at that t-shirt level and then build up rather than starting smack dab in the middle and going down. And on top of my list is definitely t-shirts. So not like cotton t-shirts because it's not very breathable. You get sweat stains, you get hot easier. So definitely not that one, but more of like the athletic sort of shirts. This means like, you know, Nike, Reebok, Under Armour, any of those things. Lululemon's great, um, a little bit more expensive. So if you're looking for something cheaper, definitely go with, you know, one of those free marathon t-shirts that you get for participating. All right, so the most important thing is comfortability and also the layering system. This will make your trip 10,000 times better because you can either take clothes off when it's hot or put clothes on when it's cold outside. So just keep that in mind when you're packing for your backpack. Alrighty, so we just talked about your shirts, let's talk about your pants. One of the main things that I had a question on and I could not find the answer anywhere was which is better, leggings or spandex? I mean, we all have those little Nike Pro spandex shorts and we all love them half death, but are they actually good for backpacking? So I decided to test this theory. I wore my Nike spandex shorts out backpacking and they were great for, you know, a little while. But then they started to hike up, they started to like rub. So Nike shorts aren't really the best thing in the world. They're great for everyday wear, but for hiking, you really don't want it hiking up anything. The only thing you want hiking up is you. So yes, Nike shorts are nice and breathable, but just grab hiking shorts, you know, just the loose fitting ones. So regular shorts are just probably better than your Nike Pro spandex shorts, just because they are looser, they're a little bit more breathable, stuff like that. On the other hand, there's the leggings. They're breathable, they're flexible, they go all the way down your legs, so then you know you don't have to like walk through thorns and get poked or you know get scratched or anything like that. So they're super nice. They are tighter, so that's another thing. If you don't really like tight clothing, I would personally recommend just hiking pants. They're like the looseness of your shorts plus the longness of the leggings. They're super breathable, super flexible, depending on the brand that you get, of course. And so they're just probably just the best all around thing. That's probably why they're called hiking pants, so you know. So that's what I would say to you ladies about clothing. Just remember the layering system and hiking pants. All right, let's move into hygiene. All right, let's talk about periods. So hopefully, you know, time of the month, it does not line up with your backpacking trip. Hopefully you plan it, but you know. Things happen, you know, surprise attacks sort of thing. <laughs> so you need to be prepared. So let's talk about the three things that could help you on it. So there's pads, tampons, and of course your menstrual cups. So which one's the best? So pads aren't the best thing, you know, speaking sustainably wise. You know, it's probably most comfortable to wear, but you can't really leave it out in the woods. You can't bury it, anything like that. So you'd have to pack it up in your pack and you know that gets gross, you know, smelly, you're such extra weight that you have to carry. So probably not the best idea. Same thing goes with tampons. Yes, they're smaller, more compactable, but you have to put that in your bag. Whereas menstrual cups, those are probably gonna be your best friend because you can just empty them out. So blood is organic, so you know, when you dispose of it, when you bury it, it's gonna go away like any other time you use the bathroom. And so then you can take your menstrual cup, rinse that with water, and you're good to go. As for the pain, you know, take some medicine. One of the best ways to get through the pain is just exercise. So take it slow, take breathers, take breaks. You know, you got it. Just take it easy. All right, and to wrap it up, 
with the hygiene and clothing, I wanna to talk to you guys about your skincare and your makeup. So I know a lot of us have that skincare routine, that makeup routine, and so it may be a little bit different on backpack trips because that is weight added onto it. So one of my personal favorite things is just the biodegradable wipes that you can just kinda of like bury and they'll go away, you know, but they take off the sweat, they take off any makeup, any, you know, icky stuff to clean your pores out. So that's just really, really great. It's really simple to use. Um, it's not like top tier or anything like that, but it works. Uh, I also bring along sunscreen, like moisturizer for my face. And I know it's probably extra weight, but I also just bring like an eyebrow pencil just because I don't want to look like a little naked mole rat walking around. So just remember that if any of this stuff is scented, you're gonna wanna put it into a bear sack and hang it up at night so then you don't attract any bears. All right, so that ends our clothing and hygiene section. Let's go into safety. So you're gonna need safety from three things, men, bears, and the woods. So let's talk about men. Number one, you should not be alone while backpacking. You should have a guy or a girl, just a hiking buddy of some sorts because we all know in horror movies that the girl's always the one that gets picked off first, you know, cause they're alone, they're, I don't know they're gone so don't be gone so some other things you guys should know is know your surroundings and don't go toward any danger keep distance you know if you guys do find yourself in a situation you guys should have a pocket knife bear spray works pepper spray works there's a whistle on your backpack like across the strap you guys can blow that like a couple times just to get somebody's attention near you all right so the next thing is bears yes there's bears in the woods so you're gonna want to be prepared you're gonna want to have bear spray and you're gonna want to make noise on the trail when you're walking so you don't like accidentally like startle one and surprise it. Like I said before, you're gonna wanna put all your scented items into a bear sack at night, put it up so you don't attract those bears. So let's go into the next part, which is the woods. The woods are big, they're scary, yeah, sure. But you can do it, you're fine, you know, just make sure you have a first aid kit, you don't go by yourself. And also somebody knows where you're going. Somebody knows the trail that you are hiking, how long it's going to take and the areas you're going to. Just so then, you know, somebody outside has that information and it just in case they can find you or alert the authorities. Alrighty ladies, that's all about safety. So please stay safe out there. All right, you guys, this is the last most important topic ever, which is preparing yourself. This means mentally, physically, and emotionally. Yes, emotionally, super duper duper important. So let's go on to physically. Physically, your legs are gonna be burning, your shoulders are gonna hurt, you're carrying your life on your back. So you know, you're gonna wanna prepare your body for this. This means either, you know, starting at easier trails and building yourself up or heading to the gym and doing the Stairmaster or the treadmill or walking anything really just prepare yourself mentally like backpacking is really really hard and so you just have to psych yourself up for it keep going you know you're gonna go over hills and then you're gonna see mountains next and so you just got to keep pushing yourself through you're gonna get through it and you're gonna accomplish it which then brings me back into emotionally preparing yourself for this i've cried I've cried while backpacking. My legs have shook so hard that I've actually cried. And so you just have to keep telling yourself that this is a goal of yours. That once you finish, once you get into your car, you know, you've accomplished something. There's a feeling that, I, I don't know if you guys have backpacked, if you haven't, but when I finish my trail, my backpacking experience, you know, I feel great. Like, yeah, sure, it was awful, you know, like my legs hurt, I'm crying, you know, but at the end, I feel like I've accomplished something that I've, I feel great, honestly. Plus, you know, you burn those calories and you can just eat them afterwards, so. All right, ladies, so just remember, preparing yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally, because those will change your backpacking trip for the worse or for the better. So just prepare yourself, have fun, and just go backpacking. So ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I know a lot of the videos are geared more towards men, so I wanted to give you guys something that's more toward you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm not the most experienced backpacker out there, but I do know a few tips and tricks. If you guys have any, please comment down below. And if you guys just liked anything or have anything to say, also comment down below. All right, you guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Just remember, go live your life just how you want to, and I'll see you next time. Bye.